<clears throat> Boys. It is three in the morning, but I noticed that Phoenix Wright, the Ace Attorney, the trilogy was like ten dollars cheaper or something like that, maybe like eight. And I've always wanted to play this game, so I was like, fuck it, my cop. Then I was also like, fuck it, might upload. So yeah, I, I just finished download. Oh, this bitch is loud. Hold up. Hold up. Fuck up. Full auto skip. Alright, seems good. <clears throat> so one thing I don't know how it's gonna work, considering this is a DS game, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. I'm gonna start with the OG OG. At least I think this is the OG. Um Ace Attorney. Episode one. Now I think I probably watched someone play through the game a long time ago, but I don't remember shit because I've always wanted to play this game. So now we see if I can be a real ace detective. Yo, these these graphics are kind of nice, you know. They definitely don't look like that on the on the old DS. Oh. Oh, so we already know the, the murderer. Nice. Fucking case closed. God damn, I just saw it right here. Right before my fucking eyes. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Where's this old voice acting? I don't even... Ooh. I ain't looking. Y'all see some? I don't see nothing. Hiya, chief. Glad we made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. Oh. Is that what your client's screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. Sounds like he wants to die. Yeah, I don't know. We gave you that idea, but fuck, I agree. Um, yeah. Sigh. Nick. Wait, my name's Nick. I thought my name was Phoenix. God damn it, this is so disappointing. Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm going to give you the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Fuck. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. Damn. My name is Phoenix Wright. See, my name's not Nick. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Simple. 
You better not fuck this up. Young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was unlucky sap dating her. Was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's actually been true. Usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself into trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. And I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do. August 3rd, 10 a.m. District Court, court room number two. Oh my god, we're in. Bro, you best believe I might hit that. Hold it! Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor, I'm uh, a little nervous. Bro, look, now that dude's hair looks like Pidgeotto, it's like dead ass. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge for your client's sake. I hope you control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Gold, hand shaking, eyesight fading. The test will consist of a, simple, a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Larry Butts. Yeah. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Alright, next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me what's the victim's name. Phew, I know this one. I'm glad I read the case report. Cover to cover so many times. Court record? Is this Cindy? It's, wait, uh-oh. No, oh wait, I forgot. I'm trying to talk blank here. You next, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? Yeah, I am. You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim. Oh, of course, I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine, migraine coming on. Come on. Look at the victim's name. Listen to the court record. That's what I did. Cindy. R1 button? Okay. Yeah. I got you, bruh. Get off my back, goddamn. Cinder block. Cindy stone. The cause of death? Fucking. Hate with a blunt object. Answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. Bro, that was must have been a fucking hard ass smack to just kill someone. God damn. I don't feel relaxed. Well then, first the question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see you, the court accepts it. It's evidence. Statue added to the court record. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use the R1 button to check the court record frequently. Alright, well, oh, that's not much. Oh, Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. Alright. Calls the defendant. Wow. 
Chief, what do I do? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Hey, hey, man. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? <sighs> hey, watch it, buddy. You were great together with Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Oh, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumb, she just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. What's it to you, anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is journey what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on July 30th, the day before the murder. She appears to have returned the day of murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she has several sugar daddies. Oh my god. Daddies. Sugar. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. You can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Stop him from answering? The client has no idea what the victim was seeing in other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Yo, that's facts. Oof. It's... Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That she, she dog, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop down. Yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Oh no. The key's motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment the day of the murder, did you not? Go. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Uh oh, he went. What do I do? Have him answer honestly. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. Maybe that was a good idea. I'll be honest. What was it, buts? Dude, chill. She was at home, man, so like I didn't see her. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. <sighs> the man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution, may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. I bet it's the fucking murderer, huh? This is bad. The lady of the murder, my witness, who saw the newspaper at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sowit to the stand. Oh my god, it's him. Mr. Sowit, you saw newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Sowit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to the nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly, it was 1pm. Wait, the 
phone was inside the apartment and he said he didn't want to go inside. How does he know her phone wasn't working? The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Our phones supposed to work during the blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Ms. used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Per 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 Perusal. The action of reading or examining something. Blackout record added to the court record. Electricity to Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes. Cross examine? Hee <laughs> hee. Cross examination. Alright, shut up. I know what to do. You expose the lies. Yup. Lies? What? You're lying? Client is innocent, right? Yeah. Nah. Look, I know how to prove you. Shut up. You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence. Bro, what? He just... <sighs> There's bound to be a contradiction there. Between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay, open the court record. It's our way, but it's okay. Well. Wait. Time of death, 4 to 5 p.m.? I do say it was 1 p.m. I guess that's the only thing I can find other than the phone thing. I thought it must be an area because there were half of them behind him. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then I'm moving dead. And able to go inside. Press. So you didn't touch anything in the apartment? Um, yes. I mean, no. Nothing. What about the phone? Exactly. The phone in her apartment. Yeah, there you go. Up and next. Oh, well, that didn't give me any brownie points. Alright, present. The fucking time of death. Found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find it hard to believe. The statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy knows the time of death. Sometime after 4, there is nobody to, uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. Damn. How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh, that. Oh, er. This is trivial, the witnesses merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? That's all you have to do, point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one and find their whole story flies with See through one and their whole story falls apart. Cool. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? Uh oh. He's gonna lie again. Somewhere right here. Lies beget more lies. Um. Ah, 
ha 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 There was a blackout I don't know what to do, you already know what the fuck going on Shut your ass up, bruh The music better pop off. Oh, yeah. Got my well, alright. I wonder if it's gonna play Corner. That's like one of my favorite songs ever. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you seem rather distraught. But my, my apologies, Your Honor. It appears you must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Selwood, let's hear your testimony once more, please. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time I saw it. Okay, let me think. Okay, so I have time of death, the trophy, passport, and uh, fuck. I don't know what I can use on this one. There was a table clock in the apartment. Wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim? What? What are you talking about? It must have been what I saw. What do you say? Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment. I wasn't there. He had the murder weapon the killer used to hit the victim. Nah. It was a statue. It was a statue. This is no beach. <gasps> oh, oh turn my. I'll tell you what, goddamn. As a witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. <sighs> it doesn't look like a clock. I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Bro. Are y'all dumb as fuck? Yes. Well, I almost hit X, by the way, because I was skipping text. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Ah. Bro, my dude has a fucking wig. Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Okay, hold on. What? You struck her with the clock 
and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. It was the sound you heard. Oh my god. We're in the court, entry. Please continue, Miss Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sowit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since a murder weapon just spoke just as you hit the victim, the voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Whoa, 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 what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless. Just look at the witness's face. The witness cared to elaborate. Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, 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 I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, but you could read it. Go on. Oh. Shut up, I hate you. It was him, I tell you, I saw him. Well. I don't know how long it's been, but I think I'm gonna end episode one of DOD plays Phoenix right, right here. It should be close to 15 minutes, because if at 15 minutes this this recording is gonna end. So like I don't want to I don't want to keep going because then if it ends, it's gonna be kind of weird because I'm gonna have to like edit it and I really don't want to edit it. So yeah, it should be ending pretty soon, but I'm gonna just end it right here just in case. Right, DOD Nation, thanks for watching.